Okay, today we're gonna go ahead and be installing the RV6 Performance uh, Pre-Cat Deletes. Um, I got the ceramic coating, uh, so it's a long last, reduced temperatures. Okay, first thing we need to do, do not jack up your car. That's number one. We need to remove um, the sway bar on the top, on the, the strut tower bar. Um, okay, as you can see the bar, I removed the UR bar. Um, for the stock guys, uh, for the stock chest um, strut tower bar, um, you only need to remove these three small bolts. Okay, um, you don't need to remove the 14 millimeters. The small ones are 12, the big ones are 14. For the UR guys, um, we have to remove all of them. Okay, once you're done tightening back up the strut tower bolts, go ahead and jack up the car, put it on jack stands. Um, I, I just finished driving it, so I put a fan to cool it down a little bit, and then we're gonna start off by removing this radiator fan that's right here. It's only held on by four of these small bolts in the same location, top side, top, directly down, following this straight, this bolt straight down. The other bolt will be on the bottom of the car. Same as, same as this. The other bolt will be at the bottom of the car. So you just gotta follow it down underneath the car. And then you gotta remove the sensor, which is right here in between them, okay? And that's it. And then we'll always take out the fan and we'll get. Giving yourself more room to access the bolts. Okay, I'm gonna start removing the bolts. These two bolts are 10 millimeters. So we're gonna go ahead and get the 10. And since I don't have any bottom plastics because I mine got ripped off. Directly, this is your radiator again, the little connect the back. The drain plug is here. You have one bolt, like I said, directly below the top one, and the second one directly below the top one again. Okay, so you just remove those two bolts. Your radiator fan will get loose. Uh, you have to unclip this little plastic clip right there, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there, that plastic clip. And then just the sensor is right above it. Just remove the sensor, unclip it and it'll go, it'll go straight out, well, no problem. All right, as you can see, the radiator fan is out completely. Again, just the four bolts. Um, this little clamp was a little bitch, the small little clip that you see there in the middle. Um, but I just got a flat head and pulled one of the sides inward and it just popped out. Um, and that was a plug. Now we're gonna go ahead and I already did. I already did a PB blaster on all the bolts. I'm gonna un, undo the O2 sensor first. Um, take out the O2 sensor, and I take out the one in the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. It's like all in between this pipe and that. You can. It's all the way at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo those two, and then I'll pop it out through the top and undo the J pipe. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and remove the J pipe. So in the front, you have three bolts. This one right there, second one is on the other side, and third one is right there. I'm gonna use PB Blaster, these are 14 millimeters. Um, and that's the front and the rear. Coming from the front is right there. You have one bolt, two, and the third one is right there. This one you're gonna need a small three inch extension or with with a deep socket to reach it, if not a six inch with a regular socket to reach that bolt. Um, then once you're done, just remove those three and just drop the J pipe. Now it's gonna be connected in the back with the exhaust, but don't remove the exhaust, just the J pipe. Okay, what we're gonna what I did now is I removed the bracket from this bolt for the O2 sensors. Um, once you have the bracket loose, you'll be able to untwist the um, O2 sensors from the, the OEM um, cats. Now, um, next thing is to remove the actual bottom uh, O2 sensor line. Now, this is where it's going to become um, a real pain in the ass to do just because of where all the clips are. There's a clip here that was easy, but there's two clips in the middle and there's literally no space. Um, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm just going to cut the clip and then I'm just going to use a high temperature. Um, zip ties to zip it back in place to hold it together and from there I'll just jank out the 
Yanka Del Cat, and that's it. We'll be done. I'm gonna go ahead and um, um, undo this O2 sensor from from its location. Popped it out. Okay, now the brackets are just being held on by this clip on top, which I'm not gonna remove yet because. I want to go ahead and undo the bolts for the cat itself. There's four. Uh, one, two, three, four on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to see if I can yank it out without removing the heat shield. Um, the bottom is already loose. And then that's it. That should be all done. Okay, I have all the bolts um, hand tight. They're all loose um, for the top cat. Now we're going to go ahead and do the EGR valve. Um, I'm going to show you, it's going to be upside down, sorry guys, but this is the only way that I can show you the video. Okay, you follow the pipe all the way down, and right there are your two bolts. Um, the easiest way is to do it on top uh, with a small socket, there's one there and one on the other side. Um, with a small extension you can do it. Um, don't do it from the bottom, um, there's no room, and you're going to end up stripping it because you're not going to get the proper angle. So go ahead and let's, I'm going to remove those two bolts and go from there. I think there's 12, they are 14 or 12 millimeter. I'll check right now. Okay, so the bolts are 12 millimeters. Okay guys, sorry about the, this DIY. It's a little limited because I'm by myself. I already removed the pre the cat, the OEM. Um, the only thing I did not mention um, is this bolt on the bottom, this, this bracket that you see. It is a 14 millimeter that you go from the bottom. Use a short extension to remove it. Um, once that's done, you can go ahead and pop it out. Now, if you strip the bottom bolts, you can remove the, the, the OEM cat with the EGR pipe installed. It happened to me. Um, I had to remove the pipe from on top. You have to use a six point hex um, sockets. If not, you're gonna strip them. Um, but basically what it is, is this is the OEM one removed. Uh, as you can see, um, this one popped out nice and easy, but this bolt over here got stripped. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it now um, off the car. Um, so as you can see, the bracket, the 14 millimeter bracket over here. And just go ahead and remove that. In order to remove it with the pipe easy, what I did is I just unplugged the spark plug socket. And then I just um, took out the coil pack, which is there. And pretty much it. Now we're going to go ahead and reinstall the pre-cats. Alright guys, I know this is going to be a limited DIY, but something helps, I guess. Um, I got the PCD, I got the RV6 uh, pre-cat to lead on. Um, I already connected. The O2 sensor is tight. I put the new gaskets on. Um, the new bolt, uh, I put the bolts back on. Um, I did install it with the EGR valve in. Um, it was a cake. Um, I do recommend instead of unbolting the EGR from the bottom um, when you remove the OEM one just undo these two top 12 millimeters pull it out take out this O2 sensor coil pack it's held on by a small 10 millimeter once that is there's a small little bracket here that goes this one that goes right here on these two small little bolts by 10 millimeters remove that and the, P, the, the OEM one will slide out uh, be careful with your radiator. Remember, this is very sensitive, so just be careful with that. Um, when you put your bottom O2 sensor, I'm going to run it um, through the, not, not through the same way it came, just because it's uh, the diffuser raises it up towards the top closer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it up, um, like as you can see here, but I'm going to connect it to the one of the OEM brackets, and then I'm going to twist it back and connect it to the original bracket that's here. So... It's gonna look good. It's gonna look like it came like that. Um, as you can see, that bolt down there, that is the bolt that I told you that I, I didn't show on the, on the DIY video. Um, that's just a 14 millimeter, and it connects back into the pre-cap. And pretty much, guys, it's getting late, so I'm gonna try to explain this really quick. Um, the front, the back is basically identical to the rear, to the front. So the back is literally the same. Um, on the on the back. Um, you're gonna need just a, a regular small socket uh, 12 inch millimeter 12 millimeter and then you're gonna need a three three inch extension with a 12 millimeter small socket um, just to so you can have torque and be able to remove some of the bolts um, as you can see here 
uh, the O2 sensor, the brackets here, like I, it's the same thing on the back. Now the trick to this is, on the bottom, on the bottom of the bracket, there's. I'm gonna see if I can pull up the the rear one. On the bottom of the bracket, on the bottom of the O2 sensor here. Let me see if I can you can get it from here. Where are you at? Here it is. All right, look on the bottom of the O2 sensor. Do you see this little piece right here? This little flap right here. Okay. If you squeeze this, if you press this, and then with with your hand you push this down, it slides off the bracket, the metal bracket that's there. So you press this, and the metal piece it's gonna the pl the plate goes through in this little small slice here. So if you press this and push down, the, it comes off the bracket. Once it's off the bracket, you just have to unclip the O2 sensor from. You see that? Uh, piece right there just got to unclip it from there that's the easiest way if you try to unclip the top and then do the bottom it's just it's, it's just stupid just do it from the bottom the small little clip and push down it's a little tedious but it's easy to get okay now this bolt sorry guys I'm by myself all right okay this is this is where the O2 sensor goes right here there's a bolt here the same thing as the front and a bolt next to the back of this bottom piece right here you're gonna need a six inch extension with the small socket and the trick to do that is you have to have the screwdriver the big one like this and when you have it like that you connect it and this this tube that's here this long this big tube it's flexible, so you push this aside and you'll, it'll give you the wrench room so you can go ahead and remove it. Now be careful with the AC lines. Um, I almost clipped one, I mean I almost hit it really hard, so I mean you're not going to break this. This is pretty heavy duty stuff, but just be careful. Now in the bottom, just like, just like the fronts, you're going to have a small bracket on the inside. Okay guys, what I'm doing, uh, I'm taking out, this is the pre-cat right here, the, back, the OEM one. Um, these are your spark plugs here. Um, here, here. You see that bolt right where the light's at? That small bolt um, right here? That's a 10 millimeter. And there's another one right in the corner, right behind this, this bolt right here, right next to it. There's a 10 millimeter also. That is to remove a, this small little metal piece. It's a heat shield. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the last 10 mil. Okay, remove the last bolt. I'm gonna bring out the little that heat shield. If you need to remove this coil pack so you get your 10 millimeters a small little bolt there on the corner coil pack go ahead and remove that bolt it's gonna be a small little nut um, unplug it there's a small little bracket sorry guys I'm just by myself I'm trying to getting dark here so I'm trying to work a little bit quicker there's a small bracket on this power steering line held by a 10 millimeter if you remove the 10 millimeter, come on, sucker. There. If you remove this 10 millimeter, it's gonna give you some now leeway, and the precast should just slide right out. And that's it. That is your cat. It's all gone. Pretty much, we're done. Now I just gotta go put the new one on. All right, so I'm gonna show you something I did. On the O2 sensor on the bottom, the clips are horrible. So what I did, as you can see, is dangling. Hopefully you guys can see this. Okay, you see this little bracket where I'm putting the light on right now? This little piece? Okay, that holds on to the O2 sensor. Um, there's many more on top. I don't know if you can see them. But they're holding the O2 sensor on the, on, all the way in the top. What I did is, if you just loosen this, if you break this bottom clip, it gives you plenty of room to be able to remove the O2 sensor um, from the OEM cat. And then you can just leave it hanging. Then when you put your diffuser on, you're going to have plenty of slack to have this on top.